So you see, this is uh, my chunk of box over here. And all my doors, uh, I don't know. Let me say, of course. Let me say. Uh, let's see. In here, I got, in this first box right here, I got swivels, like snap swivels. And this, 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 uh, just a twin regular swivel. Kind of just old and rusty. Um, here I got some, some new hooks that I got on around with. Uh, here, just, just got this for my birthday. It's a Rapala original floater. Uh, M4, no, F5, uh, two treble hooks on the bottom. Haven't taken this one out in the water yet. Um, here's another, another F5 Rapala original floater. I uh, can't tell you the colors really, I believe it's a shrad color, but this one I'm not so sure about, if anybody knows the color, just tell me, but it's an F5. Taking this one on the water, didn't get any bites, but it's really early in trout season, so I'm not going to catch anything in the I have me a pair of small scissors, and this, uh, just, uh, just can snip one real quick. This, um, give me a second, I'll give you guys a minute. Uh, on the bill it says Mr. Twister Sports Fisher. So, uh, yeah, never taking this out in the water, so. Here, we got a Striking Spinnerbait. I don't know if you can see that too well. Uh, very good action in the water. I like it. I haven't, I caught, no, actually I did. Sorry, I caught a fish on this once. That's bad. Maybe a three pounder. Here we just got some new snap bowls. Um, well, Eagle Claws. You can cross as well. They're good. Uh, here, there's just these little bells so you can find the rubber too when you really have a bite. Uh, here's some of the line that's on my dad's pole right now. Triple uh, X Supermodel from Spiderbotter. 12 pounds, 350 yards. Here's a custom spinner that I made. Uh, it came in this little kit that I had. Hold on, let me just grab that a little bit better. Sorry, YouTube. Yeah, there you go. Cut the spinner. Uh, I just hook it on and it'll spin in the water. It's pretty good. Here is a cotton cordell bleeding shad. Uh, it's pretty good. Caught a fish on it. Nice fish. I think it was like a three pound bass, maybe. Uh, here's just something I picked up at Walmart. Called a bass jig. Uh, caught, a, caught a bass on it, but uh, it's pretty good, you know. Here I just have these little, uh, I just have these little darting shads. Sorry, let me just get a better picture of that. I just have these little darting shads. They're really tiny, actually, and they bear them in my hand. They're pretty tiny, so, um, I have this, and it's got a wave hook, so it makes a dive and, and the retrieve looks really nice. And I have a larger version of it, which is a good, let's say, four inches from tail to tip. It already comes pre-hooked, so it's got that foil in the middle, give it that shine. The smaller ones don't come pre-hooked, you have to hook them yourself. Um, I don't have a very effective hooking method, so I just figure like live bait. Uh, here I have a craw, ow, yeah, that hurt. Um, it's a, it's a little craw, it's got two hook points up here, and you just attach it there and it'll, it'll just snap back in the water like that, um, having that appearance. Um, here I just have all my soft baits, they're just tough back there, you can't, there you go, you can see them a little bit. Alright. Here's a jig I made. So uh, I got that in uh, a green and white color too. Pulling it out. There it is. Green and white color. Not bad. Oh yeah. Here I have uh, my first rooster too. Very nice rainbow trout color. I uh, caught a trout on that uh, a couple of years ago. Here's something I picked up from Walmart also. 
It's a black rooster tail. Um, you can't really see the tail part. All right, there we go. Uh, it's not the good. Caught a caught a panfish on it. Uh, sunfish. There you go. I got kids on each other. <laughs> yeah, I do fish for sunfish. Um, here's another little. It's kind of a rooster tail. It's got that skin match, and it just doesn't have the rooster tail part of it. Um, gotta pick it up. And then I have a smaller version of that first one. So uh, still rainbow trout color, very nice. Haven't caught a fish on it, I think it's too small for their liking. Uh hold on, okay, there we go. Uh here's just this little minnow that I picked up on the beach one day. Uh it almost looks like a banjo minnow to me, but um any of you know what this is, uh, you could tell me. Uh, very good action in the water. I've caught, uh, well, nothing on it yet because I only found it like a week ago. But, uh, if you guys could just tell me what that is, you know, brand or whatever, I'm just going to go with the banjo minnow right now. So, um, yeah. Let me just pull out one of these for you. And here, I just have one of these hook smell combos. It's a bunch of beads with a spinner on it. And then just a small snow hook. Uh, they're they're alright. I haven't caught anything on them. It, I think they're too distracting for some fish. Um, yeah, I just got these for my birthday. Uh, heavy duty leaders. Uh, these are gonna be for bass fish. I'm not sure. Definitely not sure. Um, here's a stringer that I picked up. Uh, this was a couple days ago when I caught my first trout of the season. Um, I just picked it up because someone had dropped it. Uh, here we have an eagle claw bolina. It's pretty sharp. Uh, I just got that trout with it a couple days ago, actually. Uh, some dividers for the tackle box since I just got it for my birthday. Here's some um, eagle claw flyers. Very nice. Original cow bait dough. Um, car trout on that before, but. Uh, bronze Aberdeen hooks. Size four. I don't know if you can see that too well. Uh, I just got this little for me for my birthday. It's a bunch of egg sinkers, a bunch of different sizes from Eagle Claw. I uh, just got this for my birthday too. You got a lot of fish and stuff. Um, uh, assortment of Aberdeen hooks. Can't tell you the brand. I'm not sure of it myself. Uh, here's a bunch of uh, worm, non-lead worm weights from Eagle Claw. It's an assortment of sizes and weights. Uh, here's just a bandana I keep in to wipe off like mud, dirt, blood, uh, power bait dough, you know, stuff on my hands. Um, uh, and it's just a water. We have some bronze bait holder hooks, size 2. It's 20 in these, in these two packets of renegade hooks here, the Aberdeen and the bait holder. Uh, here we got some power bait power worms, 7 oh, it's four inch power worm, black. Pick those up on each two. I mean, people just lose their fish to do that. Oh, it's their problem then. Uh, here's another seven inch power worm. Oh, this is a seven inch with a fire tail. Blue, uh, flick fire tail. It's a uh, very nice cut of bass on that last year. And here's the uh, more of those. This is uh, these, this and the black power worms I found on the beach. Uh, but they're okay. Here's some um, Berkeley Power Eggs. They're really good. I just caught my trout actually a couple days ago on that. Didn't even know he did. But I started reeling in, and uh, there it goes. Uh, here's some more heavy duty leaders 12 inch, 30 pounds. More of that mono. This is going to go on my reel when I run out of my 20 pound braid. Here's a, this might not be familiar to some of you, but this is a hook remover. Uh, very handy when you have. Small fish that you can't get that hook out of. Uh, here's a stringer that I bought. Uh, here's a scale. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there. There's a, a little like measuring tape type thing. And uh, it's handy. This goes up to like 28 pounds. So it's really nice. I have two Eagle Claw like old style bobbers. These are more accurate than the circle ones. So I don't use them that often though. I just never get around to it. Uh, here's some bobbers that I just got from over there also. It's called a... Uh, okay. Como Tackle. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're just close. 
uh, these little bobbers, which I never really found a use for, so if anybody knows a use for them, just, uh, like, comment and tell me. I have a bunch of them, so I, and I don't use them. Uh, here, I was told this was to clip the paint out of a jig's eye, but what I use it for is I clip a fish's tail when I'm skinning or scaling it, and I just, uh, I just, like, clip the tail and it holds it for me. It's a lot easier. Uh, this is what I, um, this is a fish scaler, so, pretty nice, so, non-rusting, it's, uh, really cool, um, and here's just a little red hook that I got, it's just not in the right compartment. <laughs> Alright, well, that is my try to watch review, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, wait, you know what, I want to show you my fishing pole real quick, so hold on. Okay, um, I have a ugly stick, I have a Shakespeare ugly stick, uh, this, this rod isn't going to break on you guys, so you guys have been having trouble with those light um, rods. Definitely go buy an ugly stick. Clear fiberglass tip will not break. I have 20 pound spider wire moss green blade on there. Um, never lost a fish on it. So right here, I just have a half knotted egg weight, and that's just to sink the line in a segment. And I have a small Aberdeen hook. And uh, what I do is I take three Berkeley power eggs, which makes it float. I hook only the middle one, you just let, and then you put a worm on, and that will float up out of the weeds, and uh, the fish won't even know they're biting, really. I mean, they won't even notice. Um, here, I just have the original reel, the Shakespeare 35, one ball bearing, a uh, balance loader. It's uh, very nice. Uh, so, that's, that's about it. I mean, I got the same rod, it should be about 12 pound mono on it, so, um, you guys have any questions, just, uh, comment, and comment, like, subscribe.